Thank you very much for watching my bikepacking film. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I bring out two bikepacking films just like this every single month. This is the first month where I'm bringing out two bikepacking films and I'm going to be doing that for the foreseeable future. The plan going forward is to have one international film and then one local to me or in the UK basically bikepacking trip as well. I've also launched a monthly newsletter that I'm bringing out. If you want to sign up for that, it's completely free. There'll be a link in the description. So the Peak District is one of my favourite places to go bikepacking for a couple of reasons, but the main one for me is that I grew up probably about five miles from the Peak District itself. I was born in Sheffield, I grew up there, most of my life spent there. I learned how to ride my bike in Sheffield and I also fell in love with going out on adventures in the Peak District as well. So I love coming back and exploring. I've done three films in the Peak District now and they've all been entirely different. The first one was with my dad. If you want to go and watch that, it was an amazing adventure. Click the card up there. So I started my route in Sheffield. Sheffield is a really easy place to get to by train. It's also pretty well connected in terms of cars as well. It's just off the motorway. So if you're wanting to tackle the Peak District, it's a really good place to start. I cycled through Eckersall Woods, which is very near to where I grew up. I loved reminiscing going on some of the old trails around there. And it's a beautiful place to ride your bike. Loads of bridleways, relatively quiet, especially through the week and some amazing nature, amazing landscape as well. From that point onwards, I went up to Lady Cannings, which is a really popular place for mountain biking. There's some fantastic trails in there. I've actually never ridden in there myself. I keep meaning to go up there, but because I'm so busy at the moment, especially doing these films as well in my spare time, it's not really suited to a heavy laden bike packing bike, but I will go up there at some point and give it a go. From Lady Cannings, I headed out on the old Roman road down to Burbage, which is very popular with climbers. There's a lot of edges and rock formations around there that is very popular with people wanting to do bouldering and climbing. And from that point onwards, it pretty much goes on and on up to Stanage Edge. And that was that amazing rock formation that you'll have seen in the time lapse and also a couple of cool drone shots as well. That is equally really popular with hikers, mountain bikers and climbers. So it's a great place to be if you like being in the outdoors. I wanted to challenge myself and actually hike a bike up Stanage Edge. There is a bridle path, which I did use going back down, which is entirely rideable and really easy to do so. And you can cross it and head over to the other side of Sheffield like Red Myers Reservoir. But I actually wanted to take my bike and go up Stanage Edge the hard way. So that's what I did. And it was pretty challenging. It's pretty slippy in places. It's not designed for bikes. However, it is a bridle way. So if you are really skilled, you can actually ride there, but I'm not that skilled. So it was more of a case of just hiking the bike up there as best I could. I did a few shots with the camera there. One of the main reasons was I could kind of unload the bike a little bit, walk up a bit, set up the camera, go back and get the bike. And it was a lot lighter without having all that camera equipment in it. But also it looked really cool. It took me a while to get up Stanage Edge with the filming and the hiker biking, but when I was up there, it reminded me of how much I love that place. There's amazing views, incredibly sunny as well, given that I went in January. Just a beautiful part of the world. When I got up to the top, it was back onto that really fast bridle way, so I bombed it down the other side after I'd had a few minutes to soak in the view. From that point, I went down to near Hathersage, and that's where I set up my wild camping spot with the hammock. I know some of you be thinking, why would you want to go hammocking in winter? It gets really cold. I just fancied something different. I've got all the gear to keep me warm. I have the blanket, I have the Arctic sleeping bag and everything. And the forecast was pretty good as well. It wasn't going to rain. So it just meant I could do something a bit different, look up at the stars and just chill out a little bit. I went to bed pretty early on day one, given that I'd done a lot of hiker biking. I was pretty tired. It was also winter, so it got dark quite quickly. But as a result, I was well rested for the following day, which I was really excited about. I made myself a cup of tea and headed out. I was tackling an area of the Peak District that I knew of and I had been to as a child, but I had never ridden my bike on before. It was actually mentioned by a guy I work with who's right into mountain biking. His name's Matt, so Matt, if you're watching, thanks very much for the tip. It was a bridle way that took me over the top to Lady Bower Reservoir. It was an incredibly popular place for mountain bikers. There was quite a fair few people up there doing it, but I had never been there before. And it was an amazing experience going somewhere brand new, even though you'd grown up in that location. It was just a really cool place to visit. A really great mountain bike trail. And if you're skilled, there's a really steep 
technical descent back down to Lady Bower. Because I was heavy loaded and I'm not the best at descending, I ended up walking that bit. But even so, it was still an amazing experience. Lady Bower's Reservoir is really popular and busy on the weekend, just for general sort of walkers, dog walkers, bike riders, maybe families who aren't as keen at cycling as, as maybe you and I are. So because it's flat and it's sort of a bridle way, you do tend to find it gets very busy. So it's probably not somewhere that I'd recommend on a weekend, especially not in the summer when you're gonna get bombarded with people walking their dogs and prams, etc. But it is worth visiting if you do get a chance. After I'd done a loop of Lady Bow Reservoir, that was pretty much it for me for this bikepacking trip. It was only a small weekend adventure. I tried to pack in as much as I possibly could to a short space of time here. I cycled down the road to Bamford and then got the train from there to Sheffield. Bamford's a handy station to go because you can go to Sheffield and to Manchester as well, so it's quite well connected. I hope you enjoyed that film. I am really excited to be bringing out two bikepacking films a month going forward, as well as the Q&A and the bikepacking gear reviews. So it's all systems go here on the channel this year. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.